It's fall, y'all. Not quite, but fall is coming. And I love changing up my makeup, getting inspired by the seasons. Listen, you can wear whatever makeup you want at any time of the year, but I, I do love me a good fall eyeshadow palette. And I've got eight that I wanna talk about today. And this is very exciting because this is a collaboration video with Kelly, otherwise known as K Bella Beauty here on YouTube. I'm so excited to be collabing with Kelly. If you don't know about Kelly, of course, I'm gonna link her channel and her video down below that she is doing as well, naming some fall palettes in her collection. She does a lot of similar videos to my channel. So I think if you like my content, you would enjoy her content. She does ranking videos, tag videos, some new makeup releases here and there. She does a lot of looks with new palettes. She has really creative and fun video ideas. And on top of that, she is just a really genuinely like nice and kind person. We gotta love that. So I'm so happy to be supporting her and her channel. So please go check her out. Go over, watch her video and tell her that you came from my channel. That would be awesome. And I'm excited to see what fall palettes she puts in her video. And if you are coming over from Kelly's channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rachel. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back. I am gonna link all of these palettes down below. They are all still available as far as I know. I did do this video last year. So I am not gonna repeat any of the palettes that I talked about last year, but I will link last year's video in the description box if you wanna check it out because all of those favorites still stand. I love them, but I didn't wanna to be too repetitive. When it comes to fall, I have two split personalities. I have the like pumpkin spice latte basic, like Ugg boots, I don't wear Ugg boots anymore because. I don't know in any, but you know what I'm saying? Like that type of girl, like fall leaves, that kind of warm toned, oranges, reds, browns type of palette. And then I have the other side of me that is like the spooky witchy side who loves Halloween. I love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday. So I've got palettes to represent kind of both sides of my fall personality. So let's start off with one of my newer favorites to my collection. And this is a great, warm toned monochromatic palette that I feel like is perfect for the fall time or any time, right? Like I said, but this is the ColourPop Smokin' Hot palette. I think this palette is absolutely beautiful. I really love the packaging. It's one of their mega palettes, but it has like a soft matte touch with flames embossed. And then on the inside, you have a giant palette full of warm tones. I love a warm tone eye. It is my favorite type of color to wear. It's my undertone of choice, if you will. And I think you've got a great variety of different types of warm tones. Now, like I said, it's monochromatic. Are you gonna get a, like a major variety, you know, tons of different looks? I don't know, probably not. But I think the quality of this palette is very good. The mattes are really, really nice, good color pop quality. And the shimmers, like they've been doing in a lot of their mega palettes lately, have different, textures. So they have their more standard metallics. Then we have some more like shiny metallics that give a little bit more to the lid. And then we have these like glitter hybrid shades where they're not a pressed glitter, but they have glitter particles pressed in with eyeshadow. So I don't know if it's like their way of trying to get away with a eye safe pressed glitter, but I think they're pretty. So I love this. I mean, this is me in a palette. I really enjoy warm tones and I really think it is reminiscent of the fall. Now, if that palette is too big for you and you're like, Rachel, that is, that is way too many warm tone shades in one palette. I don't need that many. I have a good alternative for you. Now, of course it's a high-end brand, so you're gonna pay not much less and get way less, but I think this is a great, great mini version of that, which is the Natasha Denona Mini Bronze. I love, love Natasha Denona Minis. The, the quality of the ones that I've tried have been top notch. I feel like she creates very curated little pocket sized palettes where you can create a full look or you can mix and match and use it as a companion palette. This one is very matte heavy, but I love that the four mattes are varying in depth. So they all have a purpose. I really like this really pretty shimmer that you can just put all over the lid. <sighs> So, so beautiful. And I just think this is a great travel friendly fall warm tone palette. Let's go over to the spooky side for a second. I have the Gourmand Girls and Doodles by the Bunny Spooked palette. This was their Halloween launch last year. And I mean, it's called the Spooked palette. 
how much more spooky can you get? And I love this because it does kind of satisfy both sides of my personality. You have a lot of warm tone neutrals in here, but you also have pops of color as well. The three multi-chromes in here are absolutely beautiful. And again, they are neutral shades, but they're interesting because they're multi-chromes. They're so beautiful. The mattes are so different in here, but they all also work together. Great variety. And I love the embossings in the pan where you've got different like spooky themed things embossed into the mattes. And I love the variety of colors. It's very spooky. It's very fun. It's inspiring. The quality of the mattes are really nice. Gourmand Girl mattes are almost silky, so they're not powdery. They don't create tons of fallout. And the shimmers are very impactful, very sparkly, a little bit more on the textured side. So if you like that, you would enjoy this, but love this palette. Absolutely love this palette. It's definitely fall. Another spooky palette that I wanna talk about is the Batty Bean and Shroud Hallow Bean palette. This was also released last year around the fall time and I love the packaging. I love a nine pan palette, right? It's like fits in your hand so nice. You've got enough shades where you can create some variety, but again, easy to travel with. And I really, really love that balance of warm tones with some more like Halloween spooky tones. It, this is giving it to me as well. The shimmers in this are so beautiful. Shroud Cosmetics Shimmer Formula is ultra smooth and glidey without being textured or chunky. So it creates a little bit more of a flattering look if you have textured eyelids or aging eyelids. They're just beautiful. And a couple of these are like duo chromes as well. I love the shade Ghoulish for the inner corner. It is a white with like a green shift to it. And I love these like grungy mattes. They're very pigmented. And this is, this is really, really spooky. And it's speaking to my spooky soul. And this is a collaboration with Batty Bean who I also absolutely love. So I'm happy to support her as well. She did something with this palette. She did something with this palette. I'm definitely gonna pull this one out for this fall. Let me go back to the like frolicking through the fall leaves. Nomad Hudson Valley palette. This is fall, in, well, I mean, you can see the cover. I mean, Nomad is one of my favorite brands. They do an amazing job with theming. They are a destination-based indie brand and they do different collections based on different destinations around the world. And this one is based on Hudson Valley, New York. It's fall time in the Northeast. So you've got the foliage and the texture of the palette is almost like a paper bag. Like when you're going apple picking, that's what it reminds me of. And then you've got a variety of just fall tones. And the way that I describe this is like, this is the fall when the leaves are turning. And this is the fall when the leaves are off the trees and it's getting a little drab, kind of heading towards winter. So you've got a really good variety. And this is good for someone who doesn't want all warm tones. You like also mixing in some cool tones. This is a, a matte heavy palette, all mattes except for three shimmers in the middle. The mattes are beautiful, super blendable, right amount of pigment, not overly pigmented, but definitely pigmented enough that they show up true to pan. You've got a good variety of light to deep, cool to warm. And these shimmers are really pretty, really smooth, but they've got that little twinkle sparkle to them, which I personally love. Again, with the embossings on the pan, very fall, We've got someone hiking. We have some apple cider donuts. We have some jack-o'-lanterns. So it's very, very well done. And I just love Nomad as a brand. And this is definitely one of my favorite fall palettes. Okay, another like warm toned quintessential fall pick. I was going to mention the Optimistic AF palette from BH Cosmetics, but if you've been here before, I've played that out. I mention it in like every single video. So I'm not gonna say that one, although that would also be a perfect one for the fall. But I am mentioning her sister, which is the low key love you. <laughs> and this one again, I really think is beautiful for the fall. It is a little more red leaning. So you could classify it as warm tone basic, but you could also classify it as spooky, right? You've got like the blood dripping if you're a vampire. Huh? The quality of the Say It collection from BH Cosmetics are really, 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 really good. I always say if they were to put a high-end brand sticker on it, I would, I would be convinced. I would be convinced. 
Again, it's matte heavy, which is my preference. I really love having a big variety of mattes. They go from light to deep. You've got more of a neutral look that you can create, or you can add that pop of red. The shimmers from these palettes from BH Cosmetics are that really smooth, light catching type of shimmer without being textured, without being like ultra sparkly, but they're just absolutely beautiful. Love this palette and it would be perfect for the fall. I've got two more spooky, spooky themed uh, palettes that I wanna talk about. So the first one is from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is the Dead of Night palette, Dead of Night. That just sounds like it could be the name of a horror movie, right? And this is one of their new reformulated palettes. They did kind of start to reformulate some old palettes and releasing new palettes with this new formula. And the quality of these shadows is so incredibly good. And this is good if you are not interested in warm tones, you want something cool toned, you want something purple, blue, green, which I still think of as fall time. The mattes are ultra buttery, ultra easy to work with, very, very pigmented. So I wouldn't really suggest this to someone who is a beginner because you're getting a lot of pigment right off the bat. And these shimmers are almost like a cream shimmer. Like when you touch them, they're so emollient very impactful on the lid. They are just absolutely incredible. And I'm not really a cool tone person. I don't love blues. I love purples. And every time I've used this palette and created a look, I've been blown away with how my look comes out. I'm so impressed how absolutely gorgeous it looks. So this is definitely an absolutely beautiful one if you're looking for that. And then the last palette I wanna talk about is the Glam Light and Chucky Crazy in Love palette. Love the lenticular cover where it switches back and forth. I mean, Glam Light does an amazing job in my opinion with their packaging, with their theming. And this again is if you are looking for something different, not a warm toned neutral palette, you want something dark and smoky, grays, blacks, some red tones, a little bit of purple tones, and you want something that is quite deep and dark. This doesn't really have a lot of light shades, maybe just a couple here and there, but this is something that if you want that dark look, this is a beautiful palette. And like I said, kind of what I said about the Unearthly palette, I don't really go for these tones a whole lot. I prefer something that has more light shades in there that I can mix in, but every time I've used this palette, my look has come out honestly so, so incredibly beautiful that I've been blown away. Glimlight quality is really good. Their mattes are really nice, but I think where they shine, get it, shine, is their shimmer formula. Their shimmers are just like very sparkly, very sparkly without being chunky. They're again, almost like a cream formula where they just glide over the lid and they have that sparkle to them. They're just absolutely beautiful. Their shimmer formula is very, very, very good. I love the theming. I love a horror movie theme. They're coming out with more stuff this fall, apparently that have to do with, oh, well, they have a ghost face collab that should be coming out soon. So I love the theming packaging and the quality of the shadows is very, very good. All right. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I am going to link Kelly's video and her channel down below in the description box. I'm also going to link my video that I did last year and any affiliate codes or anything like that that I have with any of these brands will also be in the description box. All the palettes will be in the description box and I always mark them in the description box if I did receive them in PR. But yeah, now I wanna hear from you. Let me know in the comments any of your favorite fall palettes that I didn't mention today or, or the ones that I did mention today. Let me know your thoughts on those because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.